If you're anything like me, you've probably been struggling with putting some decent size on your chest. Or maybe you've been trying, but every time you do, you end up with a shoulder injury due to the amount of bench pressing that you're doing, and maybe the insane amount of flies, 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 flies. However, now, it's safe to say that every time I work out, I'm actually feeling my chest work super hard, and I'm finally able to add some decent size to it. And I was able to do that by accomplishing a few things. Slowing down both in the actual rep tempo and my approach really helped me out. So what I mean by slowing down is that the actual tempo that I'm using now when I'm bench pressing is maybe a few seconds on the way down, like two to three seconds, and I pause for a second or two at the bottom before I press the weight up and I hold it at the top. That really helped me create more tension on the muscle and hence leading to more growth. But the best part about slowing down is the actual approach and not the tempo. And this means that instead of focusing on numbers and how heavy I can press and competing with other people and competing with my old self, now I'm completely isolating that part of me and just focusing on feeling the muscle. So slowing down both mentally and physically, if you like. I started favoring dumbbells over the barbell for two reasons. The first of which is an imbalanced arm position. I know asymmetry is okay and imbalances are overdone but take a look at this picture you can clearly see that my right arm is slightly higher than the left and if you place a barbell in my hand there something's gonna go missing and i'm gonna have to compensate by using one arm more than the other and the second reason is that when i actually squeeze my chest my arms end up going in anyway and so i tried to mimic that exact movement when i pressed and I couldn't really feel that with a barbell. This right here is the game changer. Flexing before you press or flex before you press. I know it sounds like something that is very intuitive, but a lot of people don't end up do, doing that. What they do is just go through the motion. You grab a barbell or a heavy dumbbell and you just, you know, bring your arms down to your chest and press up without actually thinking about the muscle involved. Now, your goal is to grow your chest and hence you need to actually feel it, right? So when you bring that dumbbell or barbell down, make sure you squeeze or contract or flex your chest before you even end up pressing up. If you do that correctly, you'll notice that the dumbbells or barbell will actually rise a few inches just from that flexing motion. You contracting your chest is gonna put some elevation on that bar and then you continue the drive upward. What I also did here is I stopped retracting my scaps so hard. And I know that every powerlifting bench tutorial in the world says you should retract as hard as possible and pin those shoulder blades down and back. But that really didn't help me feel my chest at all. And every time I did that, I ended up with shoulder injuries in my left shoulder in specific. And as soon as I let go of contracting so hard, I was able to feel out my chest when I flex and it ended up giving me the gains that I was looking for, specifically that I'm not actually competing in powerlifting or anything like that and I'm just benching for aesthetic reasons and I need my chest to be big and strong at the same time, but I'm not trying to beat any records. Thanks to the tempo and the increased mechanical tension on my chest and flexing before I press, that made sure that I'm actually getting gains and I feel so sore after my workout, which is, in my opinion, a good indication for me that I've actually worked out my chest, specifically for somebody who's been benching or pressing for a while but never seems to get sore or develop a big chest. The biggest takeaway from this entire video is to flex before you press, honestly. Stand up and try it right now. Just stand up, no weights, nothing. Put your arms back, flex your chest and see where they end up. Maybe do a few reps and you'll actually see and feel your chest get a pump and get engaged. And you can even try it as a push up. Just put yourself down on the floor right now. Drop and give me 20. Um, try that out, go down on the floor, get to the bottom position, flex your chest and then press off. And you'll feel a major pump within a few repetitions. And the biggest perk of them all, you'll now be able to actually make your boobs dance.